Uh, hi guys, uh, welcome to another tutorial of scale. Um, in this one, we are going to create a semantic differential test. So, as you've seen maybe in other tutorials, uh, we just go to create and we write here the name of our test, in this case, sem differential tutorial. We press confirm. And uh, here in test type, we will select. Uh, in this case, uh, we have to select only questions. So, uh, once we've selected only questions, uh, to be a, a semantic differential test uh, scale, it is made so that uh, when more, when this kind of test only questions uh, more has more than uh, three questions, then will be automatically semantic differential style of the questions and everything. I mean, you normally wouldn't make a semantic differential test with less than, for example, four questions. These questions uh, refer to the comparing items. This is uh, explained better in the documentation. So, uh, we will make it Mm, because this is an example, not to make it very long, we will make the 10 uh, comparison items, for example. Um, yeah, a scenario order, in this case, we will put uh, automatic. Um, it's not important uh, in this moment. And um, yeah, we will just uh, set the questions. So, um, yeah, that is the configuration, uh, the question configuration window <coughs> for the semantic differential test. Uh, as you know, normally a sample or uh, for every scenario, a sample stimuli or more than one, stimu than one stimuli will play after the other. Normally, uh, you would play just one stimuli. So, yeah, but this um, I will explain it later when when we are loading the samples. Here we just configure uh, our questions. Um, as you know, uh, these uh, comparison items, they um, are formed with a pair of objective with, uh, to say, um, opposite uh, adjectives. And there's a scale in the middle and then the subject just uh, gives um, his, uh, his judgment placing the slider cursor more in uh, the, the left or more to the right according to the to the scale so yeah we will just I prepared uh, a list of uh, different uh, adjectives or um, qualities that uh, an audio sample for example could have in uh, and I will write uh, them them now so we will start writing um, the first one will make a comparison with the loudness so uh, down we will write uh, loud and uh, up we will write soft and uh, following other qualities I mean, it will be a little bit long while I write. Uh, you can skip this part of the tutorial until I'm finished, if you want. There's nothing, I will not explain anything special now until the end. Okay. 
Right, dark. Powerful, it's powerful. Uh, yeah, I this adjective that I'm using actually they uh, were used in an experiment uh, performed uh, by a Cubano. Uh, I just uh, copied from from there, so we could have done quite a, a real case. Uh, okay, so the adjectives are already defined. We will, uh, in the scale, use uh, four, four values with each. Normally, in the semantic differential, you don't write uh, things in the labels. You just uh, write numbers. I made, uh, I set these numbers by default. Uh, one can change them, but uh, we will just have the, these ones. So we put uh, in all of them four values like this. We will make also the sliders uh, a little bit thinner, the slider thumb. This one also, oops, not too much, like this. I mean, you can make it thinner uh, or thicker. Um, just like you want. Okay, now we will add uh, scaling uh, the scale picture. Uh, I remember you that you can add your own scale picture under certain uh, size uh, restrictions. So, um, yeah, but we will use now the the ones that are made by default, we have four values, so it would be should be this one with four. And just to show you, for example, if we select ten, we had ten values, then it would be the every let's say anchor in one of the numbers. But uh, we have four, so with four anchors, it's uh, okay. Uh, I changed the values accidentally, so I have to check put again the scale size so also four also four also four also four four and four you can make also previews on how it will look like so uh, for example this would look like this you can make with everything but yeah just to see a, li a little bit how it will look like. Okay, so questions are uh, configured, uh, set. We just uh, would press continue. Okay, uh, yeah, pause between samples. This is the pause that will be in the samples from the same scenario in case there is more than than one samples. Uh, repetitions here, uh, actually it doesn't... Uh, it doesn't make uh, really sense to to put repetitions because you by pressing the sample you can hear it again. So yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um, we will now add the samples. Uh, we will have um, let's make five scenarios and then confirm. As I said before, normally okay, we will add first the samples. 
Uh, here, stimuli, we will take the samples that we always take in the tutorials. So let's just select all of them. Why not? Okay. As I said, normally you would have one sample that will play and then the or one stimuli that will be played and then the subject make its judgment for um, in every uh, compar comparing item. You can add more than one sample and one will be played after the other, respecting the pause that was set. We will I, we will take one sample in each and in one we will take two samples. Uh, so you will see how how it works with more than one sample. So in this one, we just take pff, uh, tone 125. Um, in this one, for example, 200, 250. Uh, this one, 500. thousand and in this one we will take again 125 and we will we will make three uh, 26 and 27 so you will see how it is since scenario number five uh, then we watch the tutorial uh, about performing this test and you will see what exactly does then we would press confirm and then the instructions uh, we will write simple instructions uh, please subject uh, make the following Test. Uh, thanks for your participation. Uh, if you have any question, ask the your master. Um, okay. Then in the instructions of the scenario, so we will just write, uh, please uh, rate the following items or comparisons. Simple. I mean, I always say the same, but in a real test, you would make this uh, nicer and with a more accurate instructions, but for the tutorial I think it's enough so yeah we just press confirm uh, and uh, yeah I'm not sure about the repetitions if one can listen by pressing the sample so we just put three uh, we will see then in the in the in the in the performing uh, tutorial so <clears throat> yeah the test is finished so we will not have any example scenario. Um, we just pray finish. And the test is done. Now we would go to perform. And here we can see same differential tutorial. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching and uh, watch other tutorials to learn more about scale. And uh, bye bye.